Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today we have a very chatty video. I just want to talk to you about all of my favorite stationery so far in 2021. This year has been a year of exploration and trying different things out, and I've really expanded my stationery collection a lot this year. That might be a little bit questionable in terms of budgeting. I've been, you know, keeping it pretty reasonable, but uh, I do have to say that I have, you know, kind of tried more things out and thus I've been spending a little bit more on stationery but you know what it's one of my hobbies so that's totally fine but we'll just dive right into it there's a few different categories but I think we'll start with writing utensils so I chose all of these um, for various different reasons just because if I look through all my journals here I found like a common theme of things that I really gravitate towards and that's why these things made it into um, my notebook or into this video but they also made it into my various notebooks but um the first fountain pen that i chose is this lamy uh, safari in the mango colorway this is a special edition for 2020 um but i got this in 2021 I got this on the last day of uh, school as a little gift to myself. I chose this because it's a really fun color and I actually really do enjoy the Lamy Safaris. I know it's kind of divisive for fountain pen users just because it is an entry level pen, but I actually don't mind it. And I always have like a larger or thicker nib. I have a medium nib on this to kind of mitigate any like scratchiness that people might um, encounter with like these Lamys. But I've personally had no problem with it and I chose this because this is actually probably the reason why i use this the most i love diamine golden honey i purchased this from wonder pens back in 2018 i believe i've had this bottle for so long and i fill it like every time um like every time i'm filling fountain pens i always choose this ink because it's a beautiful like golden honey color um i'll show you what it looks like here i won't do a writing sample for you today but this is what it looks like this looks a little bit more orangey, but when you're writing with a finer nib, like a medium nib on this, it has like a subtle, like orangey yellow. It's like a perfect warm toned yellow, and I think it just matches this pen, but it's a little bit darker than this color, but it's lovely. I'll flip through my uh, completed journals just to show you what it looks like. Um, this is what Golden Honey looks like. So. Um, it has a sh some shading properties when you write on Tomoe River paper, so you can see that there are some lighter parts and darker part darker parts where the ink pools, and it's absolutely lovely. Like I use it in every single spread. Th these little doodles are all from Diamine Golden Honey. So this is dip calligraphy with Golden Honey, and there's me writing with it. So it's just something that I use almost every week. I think maybe this past week I just haven't used it, but this is a nice segue to the next pen. So. That's the first favorite. Um, the next favorite is my Pilot Prera. This is like my daily driver and I've had this since 2016. I've had this for years. It's so trustworthy. This has the same fountain pen nib as the entry level Pilot Metropolitans and uh, the Pilot Kakuno. Um, I love this. I have this in a fine. I usually don't like fines, but this is my only fine um, nib fountain pen that I really enjoy. I actually really enjoy this nib. Probably one of my favorites, I would say. I know that's a little bit of a controversial opinion, but I just like how it writes. Um, it's nice and fine, and it's a Japanese fine, so it's actually a really fine writing experience. You still get the really thin lines. And I have this paired with one of the loveliest inks ever. This is um, from Colorverse, a Korean brand, and this is... Uh, what is it called again? I believe it is Brunch Date, if I can find it. Maybe I never even swatched it. Oh well, it's not really here. Maybe I forgot to swatch it. Um, but yeah, that's also one of my favorite inks. It's just a nice, um, kind of like beigey, warm tone beige, almost with a little bit of pink, um, in it. And that <laughs> leads me to this, um, Pentel, I don't know if this is Pentel, I keep mixing it up yet. Pentel Sign Pen. This is one of my favorites. I think this has been like my all time favorite brush pen, the Tombow Fudenosuke. These don't come in f fun colors. I think I only have another brown one, but I used to not like these um, brush pens, these Pentel Sign Pens, but I absolutely love them now. I think I just have a better grasp on how to use them and um, my calligraphy just has improved in terms of um, 
using like thicker nibs so this is it in action it's a nice like beige and i think i enjoy this color because it matches colorverse brunch date it's just a lovely compliment to it it's like that nice beige with like a little bit of pink in it kind of not full-on blush but it it's you know leaning towards blush and i just love how subtle it is um it here it is in another older um spread i just really really enjoy using it i don't might not use it every single week but it does come up quite a bit in my planners actually so yeah one of my favorite oh, there it is again um one of my favorite brush pens um and in terms of colors this is one of my favorite color ways okay I think I'm taking too long to explain everything. Okay, so this one is, I've kind of talked about this before. I've found out about this from various people, um, but this is the Pilot Multi Ball, and it might just look like a regular, like, roller ball, um, sorry, a ballpoint pen, but this is not, you know, something that I write with frequently, but when I write with it, it's fantastic because it can write on any surface. Um, my friend Joy, oh hi Joy, has even written on this on like acetate, like clear acetate. You can write on PET tape, so like clear plastic tapes like that. This is a pretty much like a clear plastic um, sticker um, that I fussy cut from um, a washi tape that we'll talk about later because I use it quite a bit, but it writes perf uh, perfectly on it. Uh, this has like a thicker nib. I believe this is a 0 0.7, so you don't get like the super fine writing experience, but you're buying this for the amazing ink quality um, and just the all around um, MacGyver pen that it is because you can literally write on anything. Okay, and then this is a new favorite, um, but also an oldie because this is um, the Hank's Diary um, pen. They released a fountain pen and a ballpoint version and I bought both, but I have been obsessed with this pen. This kind of informed my whole like, Lily of the Valley obsession. I even made like a, a shop update with Lily of the Valleys. I use Lily of the Valley stickers. This kind of brought me on that Lily of the Valley train. And I chose this because, you know, it's it's kind of like informed a lot of my design choices for the shop and also like my personal journaling, like here it is here. And it's kind of informed a lot of my purchases too. Like I've gravitated towards blue and navy blue and gold and it's just kind of a mood right now. Um, but the reason why I also chose this is that it has one of my favorite ink refills. This has um, the Sarasa Vintage um, 0 0.5 refill. Um, I love Sarasa Vintage. This has the vintage brown in it. And I love this pen because it can take Sarasa Vintage refills. And I think that was the main selling point for a lot of people because you get the lovely design of, you know, the Lily of the Valley, but you can still use a, a beautiful ink that you would normally use a lot. So this is something that I feel like I would use a lot at school because I can just fill it with regular gel pen. And as you can see, I don't really journal with this pen so much, but I would use this like for everyday stuff because when I do use my journals, I like to use my, um, I do like to use my fountain pen. So there's not much of a presence in my Hobonichi weeks, but like on um, my planner or other um, journals, I do use it a little bit more. Okay, I think we made it through the pen section. I think we'll talk about tools. So these are some of my favorite tools as of late. Um, Okay, so we'll get started. This is the Ulfa Top Sheet Cutter. This is a game changer. I learned about this from April Penguins Creative on Instagram and on Twitch. Um, and the main purpose for using this is actually for people who like to do newspaper clipping. So you can kind of use this um, blade. It's actually just um, an X-Acto knife. Um, and you can use it to cut just one sheet off of your newspaper so if you're like a coupon cutter this is probably like something that is known in the community but i didn't know anything about this and um when april showed it to us on her stream i was mind blown so you, you can choose the depth setting that you want so minimum here maximum here and then wherever you slide this little slider to it corresponds to how far this blade comes out so this blade is still like a full-on exacto knife blade but it doesn't have a sharp point but you can kind of play around with the depth and then you're able to cut things out of um like different things so i have been into 
uh, washi tapes with a release backing so PET tapes are just clear tapes that have a backing so it's kind of like a washi hybrid with like a sticker <laughs> um, sheet and I can just use this and just cut around it and the top uh, the top part of this um, PET tape will release and then the release backing will stay there so if I want to fussy cut around one of these tapes with a backing it's easy also works with non PET tapes it works with like um, this is a washi regular washi with backing so this is still like you know that beautiful thin transparent paper um, and you can cut around it and then you can peel it off this is honestly a game changer <laughs> Um, next up we have my kind of <laughs> gummy but extremely effective tools to live by scissors so I haven't really maintained this I haven't really cleaned it um, because I cut washi and other stuff with this all the time but it handles everything like a pro I've always loved tools to live by and I've always admired these brass scissors I actually have a dupe for them I, that I purchased in Korea this is actually more of a dupe for the hay brass scissors but I bought this for super cheap at a market in Korea, but I've always really wanted these because these are a little bit pricey. I think these were about like 20 bucks uh, Canadian for these scissors. I mean, that might be regular price for <laughs> scissors. I don't know, um, but they're fantastic. The quality is amazing. This actually might be $30 actually. Um, this is the seven inch model. They have a longer nine inch model, which is more similar to this. And then I want the really itty bitty version in the, in the, three inch model for fussy cutting but these are fantastic very sharp even if you don't maintain them like me they still write very well okay we are headed into the last kind of like item um, for the tools this is the we are memory keepers crop a dial and this is an interesting like a uh, device this can hole punch um two different hole sizes i believe Ooh, i don't remember off the top of my head one and one third inch and this one cuts three sixteenths of an inch and it just hole punches over here and here and then this is the eyelet setter so if you have eyelets or rivets or whatever these are called these little kind of metal circular things that you see in um sometimes like clothing leather goods um sometimes on paper tags you see these you see these everywhere actually um I've been really liking this in my journaling. I don't think I've used it a lot in like videos, but I really use this a lot in my like um, my smaller um, traveler's notebook. This is my um, mini moments uh, insert and I've been using it a lot. So oh, there's you can't really see my face. It's fine. Um, I've been loving using these eyelets. So here's a green eyelet that I used to, and I had to use this to set it. Um, another eyelet here i really loved how that looks here so it's just a fun way to attach things on um i've kind of been a big fan of staplers um for attaching stuff because it adds that like you know rustic look like right over here which is another favorite but i've been really favoring i think the eyelets just because it adds such a fun like element to things so this is also with an eyelet it just looks so cool and it's a fun way to add something onto a spread and add some dimension and it's just like a fun way to add something a little bit more i don't know like three-dimensional to a spread and it just add, elevates it for me at least uh, but yeah that's the crocodile i used these are kind of pricey but if you use a 40 percent off michael's coupon it's pretty affordable and then these are also from michael's that um, these eyelets but you can find some on different like crafting websites as well for a little bit cheaper actually and that brings us to maybe we'll go into some stamping so i have always been a ride or die versa fine um black ink stamper i actually admittedly am not a big stamper i want to be a, a stamper and use my stamps more but i actually don't have quite a large like collection of these things but i've been really enjoying stamping more ever since i bought um this stamp so i bought this in a, a set this is from lcn um and i have the whole set over here in a very messy kind of like stamping storage place it looks a little bit neater when i have all of these inks lined up it's usually all lined up here actually these are all a favorite so maybe i'll just keep them in frame but <laughs> I have been loving 
this stamp in particular from LCN, and this is a really old stamp from um, when I was in Japan. This is um, a Mizuhiki knot charm, and this is from Kodomo no Kao, and I'll link that in the description bar because I think every time I use this, people end up asking where it's from, and I absolutely love it. It's it just adds like a certain like element to the spread which i love um and in general i've just been loving more stamps um i'll definitely talk about the new stamps that i've acquired in the future um but ever since i discovered um a lot of stationary streamers on twitch using this um specifically april i've been enabled by april because these sachi hara inks are again an oil-based ink so they kind of um go on many different surfaces if you have thinner paper it might bleed through that's just one of the things if you're a hobonichi user i haven't had any trouble with it i just stamp very lightly but i absolutely love the colors that this um these stamp pads give so this is part of the regular collection this is the um i think decayed leaf the col the colors are a little bit ambiguous because they are obviously a japanese brand they don't have it's it's all in like japanese and kanji um but this is decayed leaf i know for sure i use this a lot it's a nice like army green olive green color um really complements the style of journaling that i enjoy i wonder if i have anything here that i can show in terms of stamping um oops yeah i, I don't stamp in here very often yeah i do a little bit of stamping here and there whoops so that's the pink from sachihara which is beautiful um but yeah, I don't do a lot of stamping in here, but I do a lot of stamping in my other journal. Um, but I love this color and then this red and then this indigo. Oh, these are limited edition to Japan. And I purchased this off of um, cloth, paper plus cloth. So not cloth and paper, paper plus cloth. It's a Canadian Toronto based uh, stationery shop. I really love supporting them because... Um, Rowena runs the shop and I've come to know Rowena on Instagram so I just would love to support them um, whenever I can but they had them there you can kind of find these floating around on some Taiwanese shop um, sites I think like Deer Forest might have them but they're kind of hard to find now um, they came in this set with I believe the pink and also this lovely teal i bought the whole set just because i really wanted to start collecting these stamps um came with the teal the orange the dusty rose which again one of my favorites i didn't put this in here because i used the red and blue a lot more and then this is like a deep like ox blood red it's a perfect red actually because it's not too bright but it has like a little bit of warmth and like brown in it i don't know maybe it's just me but it's a nice like warm and like deeper red and then a nice indigo this is like a proper indigo and i think a lot of people are looking for this shade at least for me because i love i haven't been a fan of blue but i only really like navy blue or like powder baby blue or cornflower blue so these are the limited edition ones but then you can still find all of these other regular ones this is actually my first one that was sent by mitts this is the nice beige that I absolutely love too. And then this gray is nice if you want a softer look than using like a VersaFine black, which is, you know, a perfect, perfect black. But if you want another like softer version of that, you can go for the gray. And I've been loving these a lot. So, yep, I will update everyone on my stamping adventures. This is actually a new DIY that I um made for my stamping kit this is actually just a a sham wow or a chamois that's been um sprayed with water and then this is actually an extra mask uh cover that i had and this is what i used to clean my stamps and it's nice and slim and then i always just have a spray bottle of water on my desk just because i have a lot of plants uh around me and that serves a dual purpose but it's also nice to hydrate paints and then to hydrate this if i need to clean my stamps and this is a nice like eco-friendly way instead of using wipes okay i think that's it for stamping sorry i'm getting really chatty um i guess we'll talk about the two kind of systems that i've been really enjoying i might not use all the time but they bring me so much joy so this is You've seen this already before. This is my Passport Traveler's Notebook. This is the fifth anniversary star edition. Absolutely love this. And I made a lovely kind of junk journal journally insert, but I absolutely love the papers that I use in it because they're not too like out there. Um, and there's a nice mix of them. 
next uh, nice mix of them sorry um and i just have been journaling um little mini moments that's the insert that it's called i've kind of talked about this in a prior video in a journal with me but this is more a place for me to play around with layering collaging printing out photos there's not much writing in here and i only talk about things that i really want to journal about if there's like a significant event or something that i'm feeling or i just want to like make a pretty collage i will do it here this is probably the most writing i've done um, in this journal and it's just about ice cream so there's like fun fun stuff like that in here that i've been really enjoying and it's been really fun playing around like this is a, a recent spread that i made i absolutely love it it's all about my love for checkers right now and checkered print and then yeah i've just been playing around with stuff um this also has my super lightweight paper insert that i kind of do the same thing this is my collage book um i like playing with like the transparency of this this is from b-sides and rarities from travelers company and yeah i kind of do the same thing here but this is more kind of like the lead up to this so i would say this kind of paved the way this insert for this insert which i love working in a little bit more than this but i think once i finish this i'll move back into the super lightweight just because it's really fun playing around with this super thin paper but yeah this is one of the kind of um systems that i've been enjoying i might not talk about it a lot but like when i journal in this it brings me so much happiness and joy and then again my obsession for mini 5 so this is kind of like an umbrella thing i love anything mini 5 right now and i absolutely love making tab dividers so this is a tab divider that i made just using my laminator and some collage bits and then this is a tab divider that i made and then this is one of my um absolutely favorite designs that i made it's a composition book with my name on it and this is just has my da daily to do's here so yeah it's just fun playing around with this i know you guys are sick of this of the mini five um talk but i will uh you know continue using it because I, I absolutely enjoy using it brings me a lot of joy and then this file facts is nice and compact and it also holds another fountain pen that i've been using a lot this is the travelers company brass fountain pen lovely portable and it's such a nice weight to it and it actually fits perfectly in this travelers not this is not travelers this is a file facts file facts mini five okay home stretch everyone i know this is a super long video we're just gonna bring it home now um these are some of the washies that i've been using a lot least uh lately sorry these are washies and stickers so i'll start with the stickers that i've been using a lot i actually you know admittedly am not a um sticker fan. well i am a sticker fan i don't use them that often i have a lot of like rub on stickers but i think i have been using washies a little bit more um but I have been loving these dot stickers specifically. I love these um, washi um, dot stickers. They're not perfect circles, which are really cool, actually. And these are from Camille, and they have a gold foil around the circle. It just adds a really nice um, texture to like journal pages. It adds like a nice circle element. I just love anchoring things with like a circle sticker or dot sticker. But I think like the little the little gold foiling just makes it a little bit special. So there's one there. And then this is the crocodile rivet. Is it ribbit? Rivet? No, it's rivet. Cause ribbit is what a frog sound makes. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we just have a lot of dot stickers in here. So I'll keep this here so we can flip through and show like the different things that I've been using a lot of. Um, but yeah, these are fantastic. And then I have these, these are, from Mindwave, um, and these are dot stickers, but they're not perfect dots as well. Maybe that's like a common theme. I've been liking like the organic circle look, um, but I like these because these are washy, so they're very transparent. Sorry, translucent right there. So you can still see the thing underneath. And I bought them in like yellows, and then I have uh, some blues, and then this is kind of like, n not nude, but like brown, and yellow and and pink so it's kind of like a mix pack but i've been loving these a lot and then we'll move on okay so this is a lot of washi samples i think that's one thing that i've been enjoying i made this this is just a general favorite i've been keeping all of my washi samples from friends and samples that i make for myself so these 
little envelopes. I made them recently and I fussy cut a lot of my PET tapes. So those clear tapes with backing. And I just placed them in these vellum envelopes that I made myself as well. I made this all on like one kind of gloomy Friday and I just fussy cut one, some of my favorite washies and then keep them here. But I just really enjoy using samples because I don't know, there, there's some sort of novelty towards it. I think it's because it's, you know, samples from friends. So it makes it a little bit more meaningful, but I've just been really enjoying using my samples from friends and from shops. Um, it's always oddly satisfying to use. And I just like this um, storage system. I know it's not like the most perfect like sample system. Like I know a lot of people really take um, some time to make really beautiful organized ephemera and sticker storage. I really suggest watching Simone's um, video about her ephemera storage because I my mind was blown. I really want to try something like that. But this has been working for me. I kind of just like dig. I just shop in my own stash, I guess. And then I add my own kind of um, like stickers and um, photos that I print here. Um, so this is kind of like Job's existing stash and then there's Happy Mail here. But I've been loving samples in general. And then I wanted to show some of these samples from friends. Um, this is one of my most used washies right now. This is from, ooh, oh, I thought that was the end of it. This is from Yohaku, um, a stationary brand that I've really enjoyed recently. I think they capture the the look of classic -y, which is a brand that I enjoy, and also Shamil Garden or um, Camel Garden or Shamil Garden, <laughs> whatever the pronunciation is. I loved it so much from the sample that I bought it a sampler pack from uh, J Cozy Corner. And these are just five of the Yohaku samples that I've been enjoying. These are purchased, but um, I really suggest, you know, just buying samples if you're, you know, wanting to try um, washies out because I think I've gotten in too ingrained into buying rolls, which you'll see here. Um, but I don't think I'll ever use all of my washi tapes, right? So the samples are nice and it kind of makes me use them a little bit more. I don't know if that's the right um, mindset, but I've been using my samples more just because they're just so accessible. And I don't know, it feels really nice when you kind of finish a roll and then you can buy more samples. So there's some that I probably will end up buying a whole roll of, like this one is really pretty. And then these ones are so versatile. I think these are the most versatile for me, like washies like this, cause they're collaged and they always, add like a fun element to, I don't know, like an edge of a, um, of a spread. So if you just take a look, like I end up always putting like a washi on the edge, on the edges of spreads, like right here. And I think that's why I enjoy like very simple washies sometimes like right here, just cause they add like a little element, but not too much like these washies here, which are still my favorites, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So I've been enjoying this specific washi here, kind of showed you already from Yohaku. This one's a little bit beigey. Honestly, all of these are beautiful. Um, and then this one, this is an MT grid orange washi, which I have been loving. I believe this is from Havoc Rose Miranda, actually. Um, I've been enjoying this so much. It's I try not to use it too much because um, another uh, friend actually sent me uh, a sample of it before and I already finished this one and then I'll have this left. So I think this might be one that I actually purchased because orange is one of my favorite colors and I love anything grid related. So um, yeah, that's that one. And then this one is... Oh, I forget who sent this. Oh, this is from Brash and Sassy Natasha on Instagram. I absolutely love this other washi. It's kind of like, I, I love the night night sky aesthetic as we all know from the Hank's Diary pen, but I've been really enjoying this because it has the night, night sky aesthetic, but it's with a green backing, which is amazing. I've never thought about using a green like backing for like a night sky theme and i really enjoy this because i love green and orange together as we all know from <laughs> this painted traveler's notebook but i just love this it's so whimsical and also so earthy at the same time it's really really nice i love that one and then in general i received a lot of meatball washies from a lovely friend um 
And these are very different from my usual taste in like washies because they're very overtly cute, like extremely cute. Like look at these illustrations. Um, but I love using this in my Hobonichi weeks actually because um, a lot of these kind of are usable for many different like um, purposes. And actually the rotation, if you end up buying a whole roll of meatball, I actually only have one roll, uh, full roll to myself. Let me just show it. I love this one too. This one is the coffee one. This one's a little bit more muted. That's why I ended up purchasing this because I think I can incorporate it into my journaling a little bit more easily, but I stand corrected. This is actually the first role I interacted with and then I got this and I realized, nope, I just love meatball in general. But the circulation, so the the amount of designs you get on one roll is crazy. Like we still haven't done one rotation yet. Like it keeps on going. The designs just keep on going. This is a good like a maybe like two meters of of designs. So you can keep on going forever. See, this is the only time we've gotten back to like the sepia color. And this is how much washi we had to go through. So like if you really want bang for your buck in terms of different designs on a washi tape that you can all fussy cut out, highly recommend meatball because dang, this is like a lot of washi and a lot of design. So I highly recommend this. Um even just rolling it back on itself is crazy. I, like I'll never end up finishing this whole roll because the thing with these washies is that you you can kind of cut what you want and then use it for a, a different day. That's why I highly recommend, you know, making little samples for yourselves like these fussy cut, fussy cut samples because you can kind of make your own like sticker packs or sticker flake packs. But I've been really enjoying this and just meatball in general. Like you, as you can see here, there's, oh, I guess I haven't used it recently, but there's always like, that's a meatball washi. Um, these are meatball washies and that's a meatball washi. That one's a meatball washi. That one's a meatball washi. I think like every single week, I think that that's a meatball washi. This is Everine, another similar like brand, which I really like that I want to get into a little bit more. There's another one. There's another, like I just, I just use at least one a week. Um, but obviously if I use one a week, I will have so much of this left. This will probably last me forever because there's so much and I just love the variation. So this one's kind of like different activities based on seasons and like things to do like at nighttime. So there's work, commuting, bath, like, uh, I guess summertime adventures and then it just keeps going more summer adventures. Uh, I have this one too, which is cool. This is if you want to add a little note to yourself in like your planner. This one's more of like a paper with backing or sticky paper instead of like washi material. But I've been really enjoying that. Okay, home stretch, home stretch. So we talked about this. This is one of my favorite washi samples and that so much so that I ended up buying the whole roll. This is from Mr. Eggplants. My love for egg Mr. Eggplants persists. Um, if you don't know Mr. Eggplants, she's a stationary um, designer and also like um, journaler based in Taiwan. She makes a lot of like soft vintage, um, very airy and um, light. Um, aesthetic um, in her journals this is a kind of film film roll um pet tape so it's just a clear tape with backing on on it so you can kind of use this like a sticker and i've just been loving this because it adds like a subtle vintage um like element to your spread without it being like extremely aggressive vintage like it's not just like typewriters and like quills it's like i don't know maybe it's just very romantic in a way romantic in a very like oh, i don't know how to describe it like there's some yearning in, in this washi i don't know how to explain it but i really enjoy this washi and it just adds like a little soft vintage element to any journal spread i use it quite a bit i try i try to talk myself out of using it because i want to save it but now that i have the full roll i can just go ham <laughs> I use it, I swear I use it quite a bit, just maybe not in this journal, maybe in here. So this is my Thinking of You book, and this is the planner that Mr. Eggplants designed. So this kind of goes hand in hand. Um, so there it is here in the spread that I'm still working on. Um, I try not to use it all the time, but 
I still absolutely love it. Huh. Yeah, rest assured, it's it's used quite a bit because I, I guess maybe because I was trying to save it a little bit more, but I swear I <laughs> use it. I like how I say that it's one of my favorites, but I have barely used it. Well, there it is again. I kind of just use two little squares each time because I want to preserve it. But yeah, I absolutely love it. It's such a vibe. And this actually inspired me to get more kind of um, rolls that have like a film strip element to it. So this is from Raw Market. This is actually from a new haul. This actually just came in the mail recently. So this has like that film strip feel to it which i absolutely love so i've been loving like pet tapes in general and that's a nice segue to wild berry lab so this is this is an obsession that um developed from watching havoc rose miranda on her streams she is the one that introduced me to this she actually sent me samples at first and i loved it so much um, that i ended up purchasing um, my own rolls and i've been sharing this with um like pen pals and happy mail friends um but it's such a lovely role it's just very soft and i would say yeah like a very fresh garden um feel to it but it's just all florals there's different rolls i eventually want to get all of the rolls but i think i have five out of the eight kind of floral rolls but this one has like strawberries like very nice greenery this one has a very nice limited colorway of like like this very soft baby blue this pink with the strawberries and then um it is and some birds and i think some yellow yeah and i really enjoy this you kind of just have to fussy cut all of these out so these all have backing on them so imagine like a giant sticker sheet but it's in a roll form and you have to manually manually cut them out so you can technically just buy sticker flakes like clear sticker flakes and save the hassle but i just love that this roll comes with a huge variety of things and again the circulation is very long i think it's like about one and a half or two meters long it's just amazing you get fantastic bang for your buck for this so i'm not going to roll it all out just like what i did for the meatball but it's very long um and as a in general i just been gravitating towards this so this is the picnic one so it has like fruits which is cool this is like strawberry apple goes into like orangey lemon and i don't know these just are very soft these are you know admittedly not all like not all of these rolls are my style but i can really use them um in many different sp spreads so even though i'm not really into like um Actually, no, I, that's a lie. I really am into drawing fruits, <laughs> but like maybe I'm not feeling that little heart. You can still kind of fussy cut it out and it still kind of melts into a spread just because, I don't know, it's so subtle and um, subtle yet bold at the same time, if that makes any sense. I think it's just because the colors are just popping off the screen for me. They're just so bright. So these are another one. Oh, I just love all of them. Um, you can check them out at Paper Game. I believe Paper Game is not going to be carrying these a lot more because uh, the designer, the manufacturer is just taking a little bit of a break, I think. Or maybe they're making more stuff. But yeah, these are the other rolls. This one is um, has some white flowers and some food. So some onigiri, some like matcha cake. And then this one has larger flowers and labels, which I've been using the labels a lot. It's actually really fun to use. And then I pair it with this lovely multi pilot multi ball but yeah i believe that's it i think this is a really long video already i've just geeked out about all the stationery that i've been using as of late but i hope you really enjoyed this um thank you around thank you for sticking around this long and let me know what you'd like uh, me to talk about in the next video i think i'm gonna possibly do a fountain pen video because if you friends on youtube um and some of you who in the comments have mentioned that you'd like to hear a little bit more about fountain pen so i will see you next time take care everyone and see you next time bye